just two core mechanisms in order to kind of keep yourself from getting heat exhaustion. Uh, number one is cooling. You have to keep your body cool. The best way to do that is to take frequent breaks from the sun and the heat every hour. Um, the other major step um, you can wear is clothing that helps you ventilate. Uh, lastly, hydration is a very important point. Um, when your body's trying to cool itself, it's releasing heat through sweating, and that can lead to dehydration. There's some very important symptoms that you need to be aware of that can help you recognize if, this is, if you're at risk of heat exhaustion. Um, one of the major signs that you have to look for is excessive sweating. A lot of people sweat in general when you're in the heat, but you'll notice that you're sweating more so than usual. A lot of people complain of a uh, sensation on the skin. Uh, they call it like a prickly heat sensation that can come along with the sweating. You can develop some pretty bad muscle cramps and some severe muscle weakness. You can get some abdominal or stomach cramps as well as some nausea and vomiting. And in severe cases, you can get really bad headaches and you can even pass out as a result of heat exhaustion.